guys we are back at it again and today we are talking about traveling on a diet if you're like me and you're trying to shed a little bit of quarantine weight but you're also excited that the world is opening back up i put together a couple of tips and tricks that will help you maintain your diet while you're traveling i personally have an easier time dieting when i'm on the road because i'm not bored and i'm not sitting around munching um, but you want to make sure that you have a plan as well so if you're going to a resort or a hotel, you need to know the food sources that you have available to you. Are you gonna be somewhere that you can cook? Are you going to have to eat out a lot or go to a lot of fast food restaurants? I'm a firm believer of if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So you wanna make sure you have at least an outline that's gonna give you a little bit of guidance or a little bit of preparation on what to expect while you're away. Also, you wanna prioritize protein. Protein burns as a faster fuel source than carbohydrates because your body needs more water in order to metabolize those carbohydrates. So if you're traveling, you wanna make sure that um, you're eating like your steaks or like your burgers with a lettuce bun. And you want to make sure that you are eating protein at every meal. Also, if you're going out to eat, don't feel bad about making your order complicated. I know for me, if I go to like Wendy's, then I'll order like three burger patties and pickles, bacon, and um, some barbecue sauce. You know, it cuts out the carbs and it keeps the calories as low as possible because we already know that those aren't the healthiest foods for us to be eating. If you're going out to a restaurant, you can ask your server to not serve bread at your table or would ask the cooks to not cook your food with oil or butter or at least the smallest amount um, to save you some calories there or you can ask them to put half of your entree in a to-go box before you even get it so that you're not overeating there are a few things that you can do in order to proactively communicate so that you're setting yourself up for success another thing that is going to sound absolutely terrible as i say it if you're going to consume alcohol if you go to all-inclusive resorts or if you just enjoy having a drink or two don't order any sugary drinks don't order the mixed drinks you want to get the most potent alcohol that you can because alcohol carries about seven calories per gram so it's very dense and you can end up drinking and eating more in a night out than you do for the rest of the day. And then that's really going to set you self, set yourself back on your goals. Another thing that I like to do is intermittent fast. I'm going to eat less calories in a window of six to eight hours or however long my caloric intake window is versus eating 12 hours or 16 hours a day so that's really important as far as breakfast is concerned because a lot of hotels and a lot of resorts have little to no fruit or vegetables um, for breakfast or they have a bunch of pastries so you're already eating a lot of calories to start off with and then you have the rest of the day instead of doing that you could have some coffee that will also give you caffeine and curb your appetite and then use your lunch and dinner meals to indulge in more fun foods. Another thing that is important if you are traveling or if you're on the road and you want to maintain your diet is getting creative with your exercise. Whether you're going to the beach and you decide to work out on the beach or run on the beach, if you want to swim, if you decide to work out in your hotel room, um, get creative think outside of the box if there's somewhere that you can work outside then it's a nice day do your exercise outside condense your workouts um, into high um, intensity workouts that are shorter amounts of time but more work so that you're still getting movement in and you're maintaining um, your exercise regimen you want to stay consistent and you want to make sure that you are not breaking your routine that you would have at home. Last but not least, um, the most important thing that I think is to not apply too much pressure on yourself. Um, you want to enjoy yourself on holiday. You want to enjoy your family. If you love your Aunt Marie sweet potato pie, eat the pie. Don't restrict yourself just because you are trying to lose weight because that doesn't set you up for lifetime changes. It's only short-term changes. But you also don't want to sabotage your long-term goals for short-term indulgences. So make sure you're doing everything in moderation and you're being conscious 
of everything that you're intaking and you make sure that when you get home you're not discouraged because the, your weight has gone up um, because of a few days out of town so I hope that helps you guys out as always I'm available all the time if you want to shoot me a DM or an email and I will see you guys next time